Hello, and today I have an especially interesting video to show you. So this is an EVSE. Uh, this is from a Chevy a Bolt and a Chevy Volt. I believe it's the same for both. Uh, the serial number is 2428-0118. Uh, this, is, uh, this is brand new. I actually just opened it up. Um, and what's What's interesting about this is I was over at the website gm-volt.com and there's a guy there named Chris, Chris from Texas, and he said that he got one of these from another guy in the forum, a guy named Namja. I'm guessing he's a Korean guy. And Namja sent him one of these and Chris took this apart. He unscrewed everything here. Uh, and when he evaluated the inside, it looks like it's made by a company called Clipper Creek. Clipper Creek is a reputable company. They make a lot of EVSEs. Um, I don't personally have one of theirs, but many of my friends do, and, and uh, they're probably one of the most commonly used uh, EVSEs in the market today. So, a uh, very reputable company, and what's interesting is Chris said that by evaluating all the wiring in here, it looks like even though this is rated at 120 volts, 60 hertz, 12 amps, you know, 1440 watts, so 1 1.4 kilowatts, um, he basically said that, hey, this should work in a 240 volt um, outlet. So this can handle 240 volts without any modifications to the actual EVSE. So you don't need to mail this out to EVSE Upgrade or any of those other uh, people like that where they go in and upgrade all the wiring for you. This comes wired and ready for 240 volts. So that's really cool. And so I wanted to try this out. Um, so I happen to have an outlet here. This is a 240 volt um, 20 amp outlet, so this is an L620, um, it's only 20 amps, so this can handle up to 16 amps uh, pretty safely, and since this is only 12 amps, this is a great fit for this. Um, now the only other problem is, as a standard 120 volt, uh, this is the outlet, so I need to somehow get from this standard uh, 515 over to this. So what I did was I went out and I built an adapter. So if we take a look at this adapter, one end of the adapter is that. And then the other end of this adapter is what you would expect, one of these. So I am going to plug in, uh, plug this in and try this out. Now I have, I have, a, I have a few electric cars here, um, but the one I'm gonna test this in is this one. This is a Kia Soul EV. Um, it's a great electric car. I actually just got this um, less than a week ago, so it's just brand new. And as you can see right there, it has a port for J1772. This also has a Cha Demo port, but we will not be using that today. Instead, I'll be using this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this in. So see right there, I'm going to plug this in. So now that that is plugged in, I'm going to plug the other end into there. These two lights that are down here, that one is supposed to be green. This one's red. Hopefully I don't see the red one um, on for a long time. It should pretty much just be green. So let's see what happens. Plug this in. That's plugged in. This is, yep, it flashed red for a second there, but it is green. So this is good. Um, this wire I'm actually pretty confident about because um, I made sure that's um, thick enough gauge. This one looks thick enough, but you know I'm a little bit worried about this one because it was only meant for 120, but the guys in the forum said uh, this is good enough for 240. And I want to make sure this doesn't get too hot. And the other end of this goes down to here. So I will be taking this and we'll plug this in and let's see if this works. It's plugged in, and the lights, yep, the lights are on, and there we go, it is working. So that means it is charging. Now we wanna make sure that it's actually charging at 240 volts. So um, my battery is pretty much full already. It's at 96%, but let's see here. Let's make sure that I'm able to actually do this okay so I'm gonna push 
that. Okay, system check there. That. So now let's make sure that I actually have 240 volts. That's right. So 240 volts flowing through the system. So that is exactly what I wanted to see. And we are good here. Now, on the Soli-V, I don't think it tells me anywhere where the... Um, how many actual kilowatts are going through um, so if it did that it would have been great but um, that's a 12 amp so at 12 amps 240 volts multiply them together ends up being roughly three kilowatts is uh, what's flowing through the system so it'll charge at about twice the speed as the 120 volt which is pretty good um, and what's even better is no modifications at all necessary uh, to the actual EVSC to do that so that's great um, yeah, this is the actual Soul EV itself. Um, you know, as you can see, there's really hmm, not a whole lot to say about this car, but I do like it a lot. Um, it's a nice, uh, nice, small, fairly compact uh, car, but works well. This is going strong. Just want to make sure this is not too hot, and it's not at all. So I think this is a great uh, solution for anyone who happens to already have a 240 volt outlet in their home um yeah this was actually a nema 1450 that i was thinking about setting up at some point but not here because um all the wiring here is not uh not strong enough to handle um something like that like a 50 amp circuit like that but um you know i already have a 12 amp circuit here uh, or 20 amp circuit here if you have a uh, a wash or like a dryer or something like that for example in your garage uh, this would be great for that so um, if you already have an existing solution do that now the only last word of caution and uh, again, the disclaimer here is I'm just trying this out. So this is just me trying it out. Um, if, you know, something blows up or something goes on fire and, you know, your house burns down or garage burns down, I accept absolutely no responsibility for that. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, this is pretty dangerous here because this is a 120, uh, the outlet here is a 120. So um, you want to make sure that nobody that also lives in your house inadvertently plug something into this because I happen to know that this is fine and this was my whole test today, but... Um, if someone were to plug in, a, you know, a toaster or they were to plug in, uh, you know, something that they want to charge, like their phone or something like that, like um, something here, it may or may not work. So you want to make sure that this is going to be good for 240. Um, you know, things, some things actually will work, like your laptop and probably your cell phone chargers, because those are international. But um, you want to make sure that it is actually rated for 240 volts. So, um yeah, I think I've seen other people where they will be a lot more careful here. Like they'll zip tie these together to make sure that you can't unplug this because you want to keep this together. Um, and there's the 240 volt. So I am going to unplug this because this is, you know, as you saw earlier, it's already at like 90 something percent. Um, so I will not be charging that away. And I will unplug this. And there we go. So that was a successful test. I'm very happy with that test. I think we did pretty well here. And if you um, want to get an EVSE and you don't want to spend the money for a, a 240 volt, then uh, EVSE, one of the things you can do is just go out, find a, uh, an EVSE from Sh Chevy Volt or the Bolt. Um, I think these are the recent ones. So 2016 and beyond, probably something like that, but there's probably others at work. And um, these will work fine. Um, they sell generally on, you know, Craigslist and eBay and places like that, anywhere in the 250 ish or so range. So the price is not too bad. Uh, and, you know, conveniently, you can always carry that around and it'll work as a 120 volt also, right? So if you're traveling or something like that, you can always do that. So um, very convenient and worked out well. Thank you.